Good evening, Your Majesties. Good evening, Windsor. A huge thank you to everyone for making this such a special evening. I want to say a few words about my father and why I believe this weekend is so important. But don't worry, unlike Lionel, I won't go on all night long. As my grandmother said when she was crowned, coronations are a declaration of our hopes for the future. And I know she's up there, fondly keeping an eye on us, and she'll be a very proud mother. For all that celebrations are magnificent, at the heart of the pageantry is a simple message, service. My father's first words on entering Westminster Abbey yesterday were a pledge of service. It was a pledge to continue to serve, because for over 50 years, in every corner of the UK, across the Commonwealth and around the world, he has dedicated himself to serve others, both current and future generations, and those whose memory must not be neglected. Take the natural world. He warned us of the risks to our planet's health long before it was an everyday issue. Or the Prince's Trust. It has supported... <laughs> the Prince's Trust has supported over a million young people, many from disadvantaged backgrounds, to realise their ambitions. And perhaps most importantly of all, my father has always understood that people of all faiths, all backgrounds and all communities deserve to be celebrated and supported. <laughs> pa, we are all so proud of you. And I also want to express my pride and gratitude for the millions of people who serve in the forces, in classrooms, hospital wards, and local communities. I wish I could mention you all. Your service inspires us, and tonight we celebrate you too. I commit myself to serve you all, King, country, and Commonwealth. God save the King. <laughs>